What is the difference between a USB-C and a Thunderbolt connection? In this video, I'm gonna break it down, make it simple, and tell you everything you need to know. Let's go. USB or universal serial bus has been around since the mid 90s, but there's been nothing universal about it because working out what connector you need for what task has never been easy. Now, USB-C is the latest standard of connector that is trying to solve that problem. The first and most important thing to understand is that USB-C is just the connector type. It's why you'll hear it called a Type-C connector. It can actually support USB 2, USB 3, USB 4, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4. There's a heap of different standards that are all connected using a USB Type-C connection. Now, there's a heap of really nerdy information you can dive into about USB-C, but the most fundamental difference is speed. So USB-C supports USB 2, which was at 480 megabits per second. Now back in the day, that was pretty quick, but Thunderbolt 4, the most recent iteration, is 40 gigabits per second. Now why is that important? Well, these days you may want to connect up really fast storage devices, hard drives, you might want to connect to monitors. There's a heap of high speed devices. So Thunderbolt 4 will give you a lot faster speeds for your gear. The second important thing to know about USB-C is power delivery. So a standard USB-C connection will provide power pass through of up to 15 watts. Now that's enough to charge and to power your smaller devices, your mobile phones. However, if you've got say a laptop, there is power delivery of up to 100 watts available on some versions of USB-C. So it's important to note the specifications of both the port and the cable to make sure you're getting the right gear. And the third thing to consider, which is really what separates USB-C from Thunderbolt, is the ability to have external displays. So the latest version, Thunderbolt 4, allows for two 4K displays to be connected via one Thunderbolt 4 port. The previous version, Thunderbolt 3, allowed one 4K display, and prior to that, USB-C had limited display capability. If you're using something like an iPad with USB-C, you can output the display, but you're not going to get the same level of quality or resolution as you will with a Thunderbolt connection. Which is why many manufacturers, including Apple, have moved to Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 compatible USB-C connection ports on their latest iPads and Macs and other computer devices. Now I know what you're thinking, that's great Pete, but how do I know what connector my device has and therefore what cable I can and should use with my device? The first place to look is on the device itself. Many devices will actually have the little logo, that is the Thunderbolt logo there and that way you'll know you've got Thunderbolt 3 or 4. The other place to look is the specification. So go to the website or check your manual or look on the box of your device to see whether it is USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 or 4 compatible. When it comes to buying cables, not all cables are created equal and I highly recommend you don't buy the absolute cheapest cable. I've tested a bunch of really cheap USB-C cables. They don't provide the quality data throughput and the power delivery that you need for most devices. So get yourself a decent quality cable even if it's just a standard USB-C. If you're using a Thunderbolt device, you need to use a Thunderbolt cable and unfortunately these are pretty pricey. Anything from $50 up to $200 that I paid for a Thunderbolt 4 cable for my latest MacBook. Now the good news is that Thunderbolt 4 is backwards compatible through Thunderbolt 3 and all the previous USB-C standards, but the same does not go the other way. So if you do have Thunderbolt gear, you will need a Thunderbolt cable to take advantage of the speeds, the power delivery, and the display of the Thunderbolt standard. Now if you do need to buy some USB-C or Thunderbolt cables for your gear, I recommend the Anchor brand. They are not the cheapest, but certainly not the most expensive, but they provide quality and reliable connections for your gear. You can get USB-C cables from as little as $10 and Thunderbolt cables around about $40 or $50. Check out the links down in the description for my recommendations and the cables that I use for my gear. Got more questions about USB-C or Thunderbolt? Did I get something wrong? Do you have more information to add? Jump down to the comments section below and leave your comments. I'd also appreciate if you can leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful or interesting and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.